Hello, and welcome to this podcast. Today, it's my pleasure to welcome Klaus Landefeld. Klaus is a member of the supervisory board of the DKIX Group. He's an expert on the topics of infrastructure and networks, net neutrality, data retention, telecommunication surveillance, and IT security. Klaus provides advice and support to organizations and authorities across the world, including to the German Federal Network Agency. He's also a founding member of multiple internet exchange points. Okay, Klaus, you know about your challenge. Telling us what, if anything, is wrong with the European Commission consultation on the future of telecoms and connectivity. Right. Um, well, as um, uh, we see several um, issues with the consultation. Um, maybe the, the foremost um, being the fact that um, the whole idea is that um, the growth of traffic poses a problem. Um, uh, we've been at this game for 25 years now, and um, the growth of traffic was never a problem. Um, it has actually come down over the last two decades, significantly come down. In the 90s, we had about 50% increase in traffic. Uh, in, the, in the 2010, we had 40%. Now we're down to 30% increase in traffic. And investing in infrastructure to compensate for that growth in traffic is part of your job as a carrier. We've always done that. We have to do that. And um, because of technical advances, um, the cost to transport the amount of data has actually come down over the last two decades. And it's still coming down. It's coming down more rapidly than the increase in data, meaning your backbone cost stays the same um, or even decreases. Um, what we're looking at right now is um, investment in access, deploying fiber throughout Europe. This is what is being asked in the consultation when we're talking about required network investments. That's what they're asking for, not backbone cost. Um, and yes, there might be people who want to, or who, who should invest uh, in, in access as well, other than the telcos, but this would be a different consultation, a different um, regulation where uh, people who gain from uh, using the internet, who, who having their business on the internet, support this investment. But this is not what this consultation is about. This is about transporting data. And tra we, do, we don't see this as, um, uh, as something where the, the actual um, way the internet operates, the whole business model of the internet should be challenged because that is what will happen. The second uh, point we see, um, some of these carriers say, um, we only want five companies to pay for the traffic. But what does that mean? Um, one, that's not true. <laughs> the, the, some of these companies are actually asking um, dozens or hundreds of other small carriers to pay already. They, they've done that for 20 years. They started it basically in the 2000s. Um, and they're not going to abolish that. There's no talk about only having the large players pay and abolish um, access fees for smaller carriers. So they need to get their game straight. Do they actually want to have only a handful of players pay for, for, uh, for peering, for access to their network? Or do they want to have this as a general idea? Because that won't fly. That won't fly versus net neutrality. Um, and that uh, is very difficult to position um, uh, looking at the market right now because they only charge that also to some place always in a national market. Um, also, the price level in these national markets is very dissimilar from what, what is being paid for in transit as an internet exchange point. We have a very clear view of the fact what, um, how much is transit worth? What is being asked for right now, what is being asked for is fair, is way above that uh, that level what is being paid for transit today. Um, how can that be? Uh, and, and national access, uh, national peering should be way below, if you look really look at the cost, should be way below. And the, and the, the commission's consultation doesn't reflect that bit. They're asking for um, network cost, but they're not asking for actual transit cost. So, and the last point I wanted to make, um, looking at traffic composition, um, how can you ask if one party is sending traffic? Um, yes, there are players, typically the video companies, um, uh, the Netflixes of the world, um, 
they own their content. They send to, uh, to, uh, content, which is their content. If you look at AWS, which is the largest peering partner of everyone today, um, it's not their content. They, they host tens of thousands of companies. So their traffic is a, is a mix of um, traffic being sent by a lot of people. How would you segregate this traffic? And you would make one party pay for traffic, which is not their traffic. Uh, while on, on uh, other parties, um, when it is their traffic, this would typically be cached on your network. Um, and you can't ask for being paid um, for traffic um, as long as you don't allow this traffic to be reduced by caching with on net caches, which is really the biggest issue right now that the players asking to be paid, they don't allow on net caches, which makes no sense at all. So a whole technology is being left out in this proposal, and it's not probably reflected in the consultation at all. Thank you, Klaus. So basically, the consultation is aiming at the wrong part of the network uh, when <laughs> yes, it's talking yes it yeah. when it's talking about difficulties. Um, some questions that are very important are missing in terms of fairness of peering versus transit arrangements in certain uh, geographies. Let's say not to mention them. And then finally, when you're talking about users of network. Um, it's difficult to say who the user is in certain cases because one source of traffic can um, contain the traffic of thousands of users.